people call the law of Moses. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. The law was tough. That's why Jesus Christ had to come. Mm. 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 Because it was an eye for an eye. Mm. If you hit my eye, I hit yours. Mm -hmm. But now Christ comes and says, if you learn to forgive. Mm -hmm. He did not break the law, but he, I don't know. What can I say? There's something he did because during Moses' time, if you broke my leg, you have to be broken. Yeah. But now Christ does not tell us that. Hmm. Yeah. If I break your leg accidentally, you are supposed to forgive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. You said something the other day um, from Matthew chapter five. Jesus says that he didn't come uh, to abolish. Yeah, to abolish the law, but to fulfill and the law. And there are some laws which he even tightened. Because Moses said, uh -huh. if you commit adultery with a woman who is not your wife, if you have sex, that is uh -huh. adultery. But Jesus says, if you look, mm -hmm. just look in the last mm -hmm. it's done already. Yeah. See, now for Jesus, now it's a bit tight. Yeah. I'm just looking at a lady and admiring, you are a sinner already. Uh -huh. yeah. See, yeah. That's uh -huh. the difference now. Uh -huh. And then Moses says, if you murder someone. But Jesus says, if I hate you in my heart, I have murdered you. I'm a killer. Uh -huh. Can you see? <laughs> yeah. So he was fulfilling it, but he was... I wonder what the Pharisees felt about that. Matthew chapter 5. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one of chapter 5. Whew. Yeah. Mm. It's not easy. Um, so, uh, one thing that I've learned in, in school is that the laws that Moses gave them mm. were probably better than the laws that they had in the other countries around them. Around them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some of them were more merciful. More merciful. Yeah, like mm. the eye for an eye mm. thing. That was actually good at that time. Jesus said, um, Jesus said that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives back then because he know he knew that your hearts were hard. Mm. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so when I think like what you said, Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. He came to fulfill the law. Mm. It's make he's making it even better or even better or full, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, full. Yeah. Yeah, full. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was hard. Yeah. But like God wants our hearts, not just our actions. Anyway, yeah, good. Okay, so let's get back to the lesson. Um, lesson 13. Um, um, Okay, it says that Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up to the mountain to pray, in verse 28. Um, don't you think that's being kind of selective? Like, does Jesus have favorites? Well, of course, even in church, pastor knows those who can go with him up to pray, uh -huh. and those who cannot. Okay. He knows. Yeah. So Jesus had to people eyes to see if I take these, and I don't I'm okay. <laughs> Maybe the, the rest could be less, they could just go and sleep. Uh -huh. mm, but they slept, they, they slept until they woke up. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Mm, they yeah. stayed awake. That's why he says you should be watchful and pray. Mm. Especially at night, it's difficult to be watchful. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very important to be watchful. You said at night it's difficult to be watchful? Because you might sleep, you know? Yeah. For a normal Christian, you, at what time do you sleep? From 10, from 9? Yeah, after say, supper. After supper, it's like maybe, for me, I wish I could say 10, but it's usually like 12. 12, 12 to, to 8, I'd say that. The time when you return to bed, from 12. 12 or 1, maybe 1. Even at home? Yeah. But why? I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to get a better sleeping schedule. So God does not want you to sleep until morning, without uh -huh. waking up to, to yeah. pray. That is in Psalms 30. 134. Let me, let me show you. You'll read on your own. Okay, okay. Yeah, that is Psalms, um, Psalms 134. The Lord wants you to wake up and say a word. 
Yeah. Psalms 134. It's only verse 1 and 2. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Off. All right, I got to write these down. Mm. These are all my notes from Judy and our other reader, Margaret. So I gotta, got some more homework after this one. Um, you said Psalm Psalms what? Psalms 134, verse 1 and 2. You know the importance of waking up at night to pray. In the middle of the night? Anytime. <laughs> yeah, anytime. This will be good because sometimes I wake up for no reason. Oh, that's and then good. and then now I have a, a better reason. A better reason. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. Okay. Reason. Good. Um. So yeah, Jesus had probably had some reasons that he picked Peter and John and James, but we don't know yeah, we don't for know. sure. Mm. But that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We have a picture here of one way. They mean only, there's only one way to God. I think so. Mm, okay. um, I'm not quite sure what this picture means, but um, there's probably, it probably just means there's one way there's to one God. Way. Yeah, we have Moses, Jesus, and, and Elijah. Elijah. And then what does the voice say? This is my son. Mm. Not Moses or Elijah. Yeah. The Pharisees put their hope in Moses. But there's a church which puts their hope in Elijah up to now. Really? Mm, and they say he has not come. And that Jesus, that the Messiah. Oh, that they Elijah. Say Elijah has not come because there's a place where the Lord says, "Until the, my prophet Elijah will come." Uh huh. I think you read that. Is that in the Old Testament? Mm, in the Gospel of uh, No, it's in Malachi. At Malachi. the end of it, chapter four, you'll read. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Malachi. You read that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they feel Elijah has not come, but Elijah came in the name of John the Baptist. Remember that? Elijah has already come, but they say he has not come. Malachi. Uh, did you say that? That is Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. And what does it say? It says, My prophet Elijah would come. So they are still waiting for Elijah. But didn't Jesus say that John the Baptist? They don't believe that. Was a lie. They don't. They, they don't believe. They still so are, are they Christian? They are Christians, but they still wait for Elijah. There are many. They still wait for Elijah. Huh. Yeah. Um, because yes, he says, "See, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes." So they are still waiting for Elijah. Huh. Mm -hmm. If you tell them about Christ, they say, "No, Christ will come, but wait for Elijah to come first." Huh. <laughs> so, they do they think Jesus was the Messiah? They, oh, they, they say Elijah must come again before Christ comes a second time. Oh, so they, oh, before Christ comes a second yeah, time. Yeah, but Elijah must appear again. Oh. But Elijah has already come. He was John the Baptist. Yeah, he was John the Baptist. Mm. I bet John didn't even know. Yeah, he didn't yeah. even yeah. know. Yeah, he didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know. Yeah. Mm. So that is their faith. Yeah. So one time when you come back, you'll, you'll meet the, the black Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a church of Black Jesus yeah, here in Black Kenya. Mary. Yeah, in Black Mary. You've not met them wearing. I haven't. Oh, are they the ones with the white hoods? The white? No, they have dreadlocks. No, I haven't. No. no. With, with, with robes, with different colors. I have some friends with dreadlocks. So I'll have to ask them <laughs> if that's what they believe. There, there are those who believe in Black Jesus. Oh, okay. And Black Mary. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we talked about, yeah, in China, they think Jesus came back as a woman. In too. China? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to make it even. Um, but, um, so, you and I, we were just talking a little bit about um, how Peter saw so many things. And he forgot. And he forgot. He, s he heard the voice from heaven yes. say, this is my son. Mm -hmm. Who else heard the voice from heaven? John the Baptist. Yeah, we were talking about this but the other day. But he did not day. change his mind. He stood firm. Even when he was being beheaded. But remember, remember the question he asked? I think I talked about this with Margaret. Mm. Mm. There was a time, mm. and I can't remember where it is. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look it up. Mm. I have more homework. Um, when John was in prison, mm -hmm. and he's, he, you know, he had some disciples of his own, right? Yeah, he had it. 
And he said, hey, he gathered some of his disciples and he said, can you go ask Jesus? Who is he? Who is he? Yeah. Is he the, the, the Christ? Yeah. Uh, or, Jesus gave an answer. Or should we expect someone else? They said, what did he say? He said, the blind are seen, the, blind the lame are walking. The lame are walking. Yeah. And something else I can't remember. Hmm. And so... That John was the after Baptist, his baptism, not before. That was after. So John doubted. He doubted after the baptism. After the baptism. After he heard the voice of the, ah, from heaven say, this I'll is do, my son. I'll do that also. Uh -huh. I'll do homework also. Yeah, yeah. You've got homework also. <laughs> yeah. And that, ah. it's, it's touching. So he doubted. It's only in one gospel. And he's the one who baptized Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. It's so interesting. God can show us so many things. Mm. And we... Even like Israel, when they when they were fed with the manna, later on they started doubting again. They crossed the Red Sea, they started doubting again. Yes. Several yeah. times. <laughs> or his apostles when um, he fed 5,000. Mm -hmm. And then the second time, second they were like, how are we going to feed all these people? Yeah. And Jesus was like, mm -hmm. I just did it, just like a few days ago. And like, you have forgotten. And you've forgotten. So that is a lesson to us also. Yeah. Not to doubt God. Yeah. To trust him. Yeah. Well, I'm really enjoying our reading sessions, Judy. Um, do you? Would you mind closing us with a prayer? Can you say a prayer yeah. to close us out? Thank you very much. So good. All right. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, too. Okay. So what time can you come tomorrow? Same, same time? time? Same time. Mm, same time. Tomorrow, 3 today you're coming at 6. Oh, do you have change yet? Yes. Yeah. I'm coming at 6. Yeah. And then tomorrow, I'm going to see Eliezer at his school at 4.30, right after I'm done oh, with you. Oh, you want to go to school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. should, he wants me to meet his teachers. Is that okay? So should I tell them? Um, I think so, yeah. The class teacher. <laughs> Mm -hmm. he, Do you want to go with me or you want to go? Um, I'll go with Benjamin oh. and you can come too if you oh, want. Oh, at 430. Yeah. So I should tell the class teacher you'll be there by 430. Yeah, or maybe 440. Or 440. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll walk straight from here because right now, yeah, probably 430. Yeah. 440. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. Let the loss will be done. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Um, does that sound like Benjamin? a good idea? Yeah. Uh -huh. You're coming with Benjamin? Mm -hmm. um, that is Joe is coming? Mom? No. No. No, just me and Benjamin. You and Benjamin. Mm, that's fine. Yeah. Do you think you'll come with us tomorrow? Tomorrow in school? Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay. Mm. But at, at my place you're coming, how many people are coming? Um, to your place? Oh, today? Today, yeah. Just me. Just me and Benjamin. You are, you and Benjamin. And we're just going to be running. Oh, you'll we'll be running? Yeah. You want to collect ideas, you run. Or collect ideas? No, you're coming to pick ideas, then you run. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you'll come to our house first. Should I? I don't know how you have planned. I don't know. Okay, I wasn't planning to do that. Oh. Yeah, because we're only doing it from 6 to 6.30. Mm. So we only have 30, 30 minutes. Oh, to run around. To run around. Oh. Yeah. And maybe when, when Eliezer gets too tired, then we'll be done. Mm. <laughs> yeah. He's not a good runner. Not as good as me, yeah. You do a lot of running? Yeah, I do a lot of running, yeah. yeah. Other sports, any other sports you do? I swim. Uh -huh. And mm. I run. You do gymnastics, all this? And I do a little bit of weights, yeah. No. I do push-ups. Push-ups. Oh. Yeah. I, I played football when I was in high school. American football. American football. Yeah. But that was eight years ago. Eight. Now you don't play anymore. I don't play anymore. Yeah, thank you. Thank All right, thank you so much. Huh? Thank you. I'm looking forward to sharing this with my family. Uh -huh. Okay. And with my girlfriend at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, uh -huh. if God arranges for a wedding, even if I won't come, send me a picture. Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> uh, I will. Yeah. I, I definitely will. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh -huh. Okay.